looking for a compact car with a big boot, preferably a sedan. Let me introduce you to the new Fiat Tipo. Tipo is Fiat's new project with an old name. This compact sedan was first presented to the world as Project Aegea, as the Aegean Sea, which is between Greece and Turkey. And by strange coincidence, Tipo's predecessor, Fiat Linea, was made in Turkey. So, for the Turkish market, it's Aegea. And how did Fiat come up with Tipo? Some of you may remember a hatchback made in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Fiat decided that the Tipo name is still recognized and associated with the brand, so it decided to reuse it for the compact segment offer. Joining the sedan will soon be a station wagon and a hatchback. Before you ask, the Tipo may look like Dodge Dart, but it's actually made on a different platform. That said, the Tipo may appear in Mexico as Dodge Neon. Fiat says Tipo is positioned in the C segment as a competitor for Renault Fluence, Opel Astra Sedan and Ford Focus Sedan. Fiat also points out this is not a B plus car like Peugeot 301 or Citroën C Elise. Tipo comes with a choice of fire family petrol engines and multi-jet diesels, displacement ranging from 1.3 to 1.6 liters and power from 95 to 120 Italian horses. The hatchback and the station wagon will also get a 1.4 T-Jet. The hatchback may also come with a factory installed LPG gear. This is the most powerful 1.6 diesel, producing 120 horsepower. Many sedans are designed by adding a boot to an existing hatchback, but the Tipo was designed from the start as a sedan, which is why it doesn't hurt your eyes when you look at it. And the good thing about sedans is that they usually come with cavernous boots. This one has 520 liters, which means that your wife can pack everything she needs for a holiday and there's still some space left for your stuff. There is decent legroom in the back, as long as the driver and the passenger are 175 centimeters like me. However, the falling roofline means taller passengers will have to go easy on the hats. Good news, bad news, depending on how you look at it. There is no sunroof option, so nothing else will eat into the headroom. Depending on the market, most trim levels should come with 60-40 split rear seats. In Poland, the armrest with storage and cup holders is a part of business lounge equipment package. The dashboard design is conservative and functional. Cup holders are placed low enough so that you don't hit your drink when shifting gears. There is also enough space under the armrest and in the glove box for a small octopus. And there is also a practical cubbyhole with a 12 volt socket, an auxiliary socket, as well as a USB port where you can store even a large phone. You sometimes ask me whether such and such engine is powerful enough. Well, that depends powerful enough for what. If you're planning to take the Tipo around the Nürburgring, well, even the 120 horsepower 1.6 diesel may not be powerful enough. But if you need a car to do your everyday commute and maybe take your family for vacation twice a year, then yeah, this Tipo is powerful enough. It's a similar thing with the suspension. It's set for comfort, not for sport driving. The entire Tipo range has McPherson strut in the front and twist beam in the back. It's quiet and comfortable, even when the roads get rougher, like on the last mile. For the 1.6-120 horsepower diesel, Fiat promises 4.2 liters per 100 kilometers in a combined cycle and 5.2 in the urban cycle. In real life, I'd add a liter to each of these values. The 1.3 diesel comes with a 5-speed manual gearbox. The 1.6 petrol comes with a 6-speed Isen automatic. The 1.4 petrol and the 1.6 diesel come with 6-speed manuals. In this diesel, I don't really get to use the 6th gear too much, mainly on the motorways, 
around the town, Eco Nani tells me to keep it between third and fourth. And outside the city, fifth gear is good enough most of the time. The 1.6 diesel comes with disc brakes all around, the remaining versions have drum brakes in the back. Prices of the Fiat Tipo start below 12,000 euros and even the basic version has things like central locking, air conditioning or radio with USB. This 1.6 diesel in lounge trim with optional sat-nav reversing camera, rear parking sensors, rear armrest and lumbar support adjustment costs 21 grand. Astra sedan starts at around 20 grand, a Focus sedan also goes easily above 20,000. And what do you think about the new Fiat Tipo? Let me know in the comments below. Share, rate and subscribe. New episodes every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.